Welcome to Women of the Metaverse. I am Cheryl Laidlaw. I am Angela Harkness. We have been and are still on a journey to discover the Metaverse, Web 3.0, NFTs and anything that we are required to know to join this world. From this podcast, we will help you to unlock how the metaverse is going to impact your brand, your business, and even your personal life. Join us as we take the mystery out of this new digital universe. Welcome to this episode of Women of the Metaverse. This is our last episode of season one. Yay! (laughs) We will return next year with a new season. So we wanted to end with a high and leave you thinking over the holiday period. My friendship with Angela grew out of learning. For well over a decade, we have shared our research and findings with each other. We have done courses together and we still meet every Monday to talk about what we're interested in, set ourselves challenges and hold each other accountable. About a year ago, we started sending each other videos and images about this new digital universe whether it was about NFTs, the metaverse, 3D technology, how VR was being used, who was getting involved, and many other things. We then started to realize that this was a very, very, very male-dominated space. This fueled our motivation to start this podcast. So here we are. 33 episodes later. Can you believe that? 33 episodes. It's flown by. And the idea for this episode to end the season came about because of Kathy Hackle. We have mentioned her in many of our episodes. She is a force for women in this area and recognized the importance of this digital world before most people. She is a powerful example of how you can build a brand in this arena. She is prolific and is the go-to guest for all podcasts on this subject. And she is flying the flag for women. But our admiration for Kathy also fuels our frustration. We want to hear from more women. We know there are more women than just Kathy. And we have listed some in previous episodes. And we have found more, but still not enough. We want to see more women lead the charge and be recognized for doing so. Not enough, Cheryl. Absolutely, there's not enough. And we want to change it. Every time we see a blog, it, there's always a picture of Kathy Hackle. Or I they know. do mention her a lot as the godmother of the metaverse, which is yeah. fantastic for her. Yes, yeah. But the, it just shows just that there, there is opportunity for more women to get involved because Kathy Hackle is everywhere. Everybody knows Kathy Hackle. Like Cheryl said, it's brilliant. Brilliant for her because she she caught on to it much quicker than anybody else. But it just shows that there is not enough women involved as well. She has been doing it for seven years. Yeah, seven long years. time. Very yeah. Much. The imbalance of women in this area mirrors real life businesses. In November 2022, consultancy firm uh, McKinsey published a report. The article was titled... Even in the metaverse, women remain locked out of leadership roles. We've actually taken a lot of data from this report for this episode because it is up to date and also because there is a very limited data in this area. We could not find the equivalent for the report in the UK. Which is really poor, isn't it? Can't find yeah, it's any quite data. disappointing. Yeah. There was a global one, but, you know, the US kind of lead the way, unfortunately. So They do, they do. <laughs> The report states that the gender gap in the metaverse almost mirrored what exists in the Fortune 500 companies and startups, where less than 10% of CEOs are women and only 17% of venture capital dollars go to women-led and women-co-led companies. However, what did come out of the report was in certain areas, women seem to be more involved in the metaverse. This is actually a direct quote from the article, which is really interesting. It said, the reality is that women are spending more time in the proto metaverse than men are. And according to our data, are more likely to spearhead and implement metaverse initiatives. However, just as in the tech sector as a whole, 
women represent a minority in the metaverse economy, which is poor. We went into recording this podcast thinking that we knew a lot. And over the last 33 episodes, our knowledge has excessively grown. But what has been the biggest gift was how much our passion for this has really been fueled further. Angela, with her newfound love for DAOs in in episode 15, and me with my excitement over digital fashion in episode 20. Yeah. What was it you told me? If I was a teenager in in this area, I would definitely be teaching myself how to design digital wearables for Roblox or for any other gaming site. I would definitely be involved. Yeah. Probably sitting beginning. in your room with your ipad drawing yeah definitely yeah. It, it, yeah without a doubt yeah just look at the fabricant and what they have done it's incredible yes so yeah their example in fact another kathy hackle quote <laughs> that i saw she said the world's hey. next coco chanel is a 10 year old girl who's currently designing avatar skins on roblox which is so true so true definitely We wanted this episode to inspire you, to urge you to do some research of your own, to not be blocked by technology, but to understand the opportunities that Web3 offers you, to use the last 32 episodes to learn and expand your mind and think of the possibilities for your brand. This digital world is a toddler who doesn't know where it will be in its old age, and you have the chance to paint your own masterpiece in this new world. There are no limits. As women, we may have to fight harder, but the more of us that put our ideas into action, the more success we can all have. So we're going to throw our hats in the ring and tell you what we plan to do, but we want to hear from you too. So we have, well, we would like to create our own NFT collection, tokens or coins. We're still looking into that. And we're excited to see and map this out as we both have many ideas on that. We just this one drives to... me crazy. <laughs> we this just need to just pinpoint. Like, I know. I have so many different collection ideas. <laughs> Every week I'm like, so, well, we could do this. Or, uh, yeah. We could do that. And I'm like, mm-hmm. so we need to find one that we both agree on. But um, we also want to obviously continue our podcast in season yeah. two is coming next year. Um, and we've got a roadmap for that. So that's all planned out. Uh, we're going to see you more in Horizon Workrooms in our studio down by the beach. Yes. Uh, we would love to grow this community. So if you have been enjoying uh, season one, please do share it with a friend. And Angela can't help herself and she's still looking at Dow's. <laughs> Definitely. I am in love with them. <laughs> we really urge you to keep going. If it is not clear at the moment, then don't be put off because it will start to become clearer. It took us four months to finally write episode 28 about tokens. We are not kidding you. Every few weeks we, should, we said, oh, we should do the token episode. And then when we <laughs> went to do it, we were just like, no, this is we'll too do it hard. Next week. We'll do it we'll next do week. It next week. <laughs> we'll do it next week. Because we just couldn't get our heads around it. And then when we started to write it, it was like, oh, I get it now. This is everything we've been talking about. This is easy. So don't, don't be put off because... All of a sudden, the the pieces will come together and you will understand it. We want to thank you all for supporting Women of the Metaverse podcast. We could not have done it without you and we've been blown away by the support. Absolutely. We We have one simple aim and that is to give women a voice in this space. We support all women of Web3 and we look forward to hearing all about your projects in 2023. We'll see you then. Bye for now. Bye. Thank you for listening to this episode of Women of the Metaverse. You can find all information, links, and people we talked about in the show notes on our website. If you have enjoyed this podcast, please comment and subscribe. Join us again in the next episode as we continue this exciting Metaverse journey.